Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about painting a hat. Um, the last video was me painting some jeans. Um, I just decided one day that I wanted to paint some jeans. I just wanted to design some jeans. I just wanted to design some jeans. I don't think nothing wrong with that. But anyway, um, I wanted to do a hat to go with those jeans. And I wanted it to be in the same kind of category of design. Like I wanted to have, since it's blood on the jeans, I wanted to have blood on the hat. Um, initially, I was gonna do a red hat, but why would I put red blood on a red hat? So that wouldn't work. But before I move forward, again, I wanna say like and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll be notified when I post new videos. And I really like that. So like and subscribe. Okay, as y'all can see, I've already started painting on this hat. And by the way, I got this hat from um, Bucks Wholesale. Bucks Wholesale has hats. They have dead hats and they have them for the low. Um, I use Jiffy shirts also for shirts. I've never used them for hats, but Bucks Wholesale has these hats. This is where I got this hat from. Um, the paint that I'm using is just regular apple barrel acrylic paint. Let it clear up. This is black. Um, I'm using red, red acrylic paint. Um, I have like a trillion colors in this box. But same brand, apple barrel acrylic paint. Also, a key thing that I use is textile medium. When I'm painting on fabric, I use textile medium. This is through Delta Creative. I purchased this on Amazon, I believe. I don't think I got this at a store. Um, well, let me take that back. I got it from Hobby Lobby for $6.99. I take that back. Hobby Lobby. So, textile medium. This is what you use to mix in your paint to make it last longer like i'm not sure if that's exactly what it's for i mean i know it turns acrylic paint into um permanent flexible and washable fabric paint but i also noticed that when you put that textile medium in paint it lasts like this paint has been sitting in this little cup for a couple of days like um, and it hasn't dried out and I was able to put a little bit more in there a little bit more textile medium and then It's still it's ready um, I use regular paint brushes. I don't use anything special like I find the cheapest paint brushes I can find um, This pack right here. I got it from Walmart this is a value pack. Uh, as you can see, it says artist pack. It has everything in there. It even has like those little spatulas. I know that's not what it's called, but it, that's what it looked like. But I use these regular things. Sometimes when I paint on clothes, I use these. But we're not doing that on this video. Um, I use these for when I'm using a stencil and I want to blot the paint on the stencil. We're not doing that today, so I don't need these. Um, I also have these small tubes of acrylic paint that I got from Amazon. They're great. They're really vibrant, but I'm afraid to use it all, so I rarely use these. I use the the bigger bottles, and then the bigger bottles, again, the Apple, Apple Barrel, they're cheaper than those little small tubes. Um, I also have this kind of paint. And I tried this on fabric and just glitter alone does not look right. So you have to put this on top of another color. Like that does not look right by itself, especially if it's on a dark, on a dark fabric. Um, but all I need right now is the hat, my paint, my paintbrush. And I use like a little towel, you know, to wipe off my paintbrush. Um, Again, as you can see, I've already started coloring it in. The white was put on here because initially I took a pencil. I want to show you. I like showing you guys everything that I use because all of this stuff can be purchased for the low. For the low, anywhere. I don't even remember how much this pencil was, but it was probably like a quarter. I don't know. 
but I'm not, I don't spend a lot of money on craft supplies. I have a lot of craft supplies, but I don't spend a lot of money on craft supplies. But this white pencil right here, I use this on dark stuff. And then I also have a black pencil just like this that I use on white items, um, white or light. But norm lately, I've only been doing dark colors or just white. I haven't done any light colors with um, paint yet. Just white, yeah. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. So I drew out my drips of blood. I drew it out with white pencil and I painted an outline of white around the drips to give it the shape. Then I went back in and I filled in the drips with white paint because basically what you're doing is giving it an undercoat so that that color that you're gonna put on top of that white stands out, like it just pops. Like you just, you're like, oh my God, it's coming out that hat, like, oh my God. But anyway, that's what I'm currently doing now. So basically you just take a, all you need is a little bit of paint. You don't need a lot because if you have a lot, it'll leave like thick patches or a thick, um, a thick goopy bubbly looking thing. But all I'm doing is painting over the white. You don't have to be extremely perfect, but I do recommend that you try to be as perfect as possible because when you get ready to outline it with black, you don't want to have to um, like continuously paint over your mistakes. So the less mistakes that you make, um, the less time it'll take for you to outline your design. I try to get every little white spot that I can get as best as I can. And then whatever I don't get, I get it with the outline. So, as you can see, it's completely red. And I'm going to go back in and outline it with black. You won't be able to see the black when I outline it. The only black you'll be able to see is the black that's on the actual design. Like when you put your drips on your drips. That's when you'll see the black. But really, that's that's the important part. That's, that's all you really need to see are the drips so you can know what it is. Basically, this hat is gonna be bleeding just like the jeans that I made are bleeding. And you can purchase this um, design on my website. My website is listed in the description. It should be. If it isn't, my website is listed in my about section on my YouTube channel. So if you just go up to your, um, go up to my page and, and click the about tab, you'll be able to see all of my social links as well as my website where you can purchase some of the items that I've already made and have for sale. Um, I also sell on Facebook. I sell on Mercari. I sell on Instagram. Um, I used to sell on Etsy, but I no longer sell on Etsy. Um, I don't know if I said Facebook already, but I sell on Facebook as well. I want to turn this around and try to paint it this way so you guys can see. Go to the, when you're painting it, go to the part that you know is the easiest part that you can do. So if you're not good with painting the lines, paint the middle of it first and then go outward slowly. So like if you want, you can paint this big part real fast like that. But when you get to the edges, you slowly and carefully graze those edges with the paintbrush just to get it red. You don't need to um, put any, like a lot of paint there. You don't need to blot it or anything. You just need to lightly, lightly graze over it. 
And once I finish painting this red, I, I'm not going to do the outline um, immediately after. After. I like to wait a, I like to wait a while and let the design actually dry a little bit and it doesn't take long to dry at all. This paint does not take long to dry like it actually dries while you're painting another part of the design. Like this may be dry by the time I get done with this side. So just to, you know, throw that out there, the paint does dry fast. Um but it doesn't dry out in the jar. Like, that's amazing. It dries on the fabric, but it doesn't dry out in the jar. I love it. Like, this has been the only paint that I've been using since I started designing. Like, I haven't used anything else but what I have showed you on this video. And people, when, when they see, like, people making things or designing things, they automatically assume that it's hard. Oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Like I drew this design and that last design, the design on those jeans, I drew that freehand. I just looked at a picture and went from there. Like, and that's how you start off. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you start off with a side hustle or not even a side hustle, a hobby. Like, you know, you just look at others and um, check out other people's videos and posts and Pinterest and Facebook. Ch just check out what they post for ideas. It's, it's never um, anything wrong with getting ideas from other people because maybe you can do it better or maybe you can add your touch to it and make it different. You, just, you never know, but that's how you get started by looking for ideas and that's how i got started i love to learn i love looking um looking up things and looking for um different ideas on how to make things and sell things like i enjoy making things that people um can wear and you know People ask them, oh, I like that. Where you get that from? Oh, Lacey made it for me. Like, that feels so good. Like, it's, and especially if they like it. Like, majority of the time, when someone purchases something for me, they love it. And if they don't love it, I will fix whatever the problem is, and I will make them love it. But so far, I'm pretty much almost done painting the dripping blood. I'm almost done. Um, and it's also going to be a design under this hat. But this is a raw kind of draft. So it's not all that great. So I'm not really too big on showing it right now because I still have some work to do to that. But as far as the top, Um, I'm pretty much almost done with it. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. I don't have to, but it's late. So I don't wanna be up late painting, like again tonight, like I have been the last few nights. So once I get done with this, I'm gonna let it dry overnight and I'll pick up with it tomorrow. But I'm sure this design should be done tomorrow. All right, and there we have it. There are some drips of blood. It's not finished because I have to draw my little, you know, like the jeans, I have to draw my little drips and things like that. But this pretty much looks good already. Um, for a recap, basically, when you're painting on fabric, if you're using dark fabric, you need to paint it white first. No matter how big or small it is, you need to paint it white first because that white will make that color pop. Just It'll just make that color pop. I'm sorry, but it does. Um, 
You also need to use painter's tape sometime when you're using jeans. That's another tip that I want to give. Um, and that's about it. I mean, you can find your acrylic paint at your local Walmart or your local craft store, but I prefer Walmart because you can get it at a better deal. Um, Michaels, they don't try to rob you, so Michaels is a good idea too. Um, and that's about it. Thank you for watching this video. I want to say this again like this video and subscribe to my channel because I have some very very great ideas that I love to share with you guys and I try to upload as much as I can weekly um but again like and subscribe also check out my website for some of my merch thank you for visiting